Now, you're probably going to tell me that this is absolutely stating the obvious, but I think that we all pretty much want to ride faster on our bikes, but sometimes you don't necessarily have the time or even want to train to get there. So here are five ways that you can ride your bike faster for free. Getting more aerodynamic, whether that's your position on your bike, your bike or your kit, is something that will help you to go faster without training. In the case of your kit, it might be something like aerodynamic cycling kit, a slightly more aero helmet. In the case of your bike, maybe you'll invest in a set of more aero wheels or go all the way and get a fully aero bike. Now, I'm very lucky. This is my Trek Project One Madone. If, however, you don't want to invest in kit or in your bike, there is one very clever thing that you can do. And this is recommended to us by Robbie Ketchell, who's chief data analyst at Team Sky. He said that you can just listen when you're going along. So if you're riding along and things are quite noisy, you can hear a lot of air buffeting around you. That might be because you're unaerodynamic, so maybe you have kit flapping or cables flapping on your bike, something like that. So, if when you're going along, you're as quiet as you can possibly be, you'll be more aerodynamic and you'll be going faster for it. How about gear selection while you're riding? Now, I think that we can make this one pretty simple, and that is choose a gear that you know will allow you to deal with any upcoming difficulties or upcoming accelerations relatively easily. So you want a light gear where you're turning quite a high cadence. If you're on a steep hill, this means changing your chain ring so that you don't have to make an emergency big ring to little ring change. And if you're going to accelerate out of a fast corner, this means being in a gear that will allow you to ride pretty fast, but accelerate through your gears too. If you know the roads and you know there's a hill coming up and you've got a little bit of a descent beforehand, don't be afraid to use the downhill to pick up a bit of momentum and then if the climb is short enough you can use this to carry you up the hill. It's actually quite an efficient way of riding faster on some shorter climbs. That said, I don't know quite how short this climb is because it's my first time riding in Madison, Wisconsin. Mike, I think it's longer. <laughs> Keep going, I'm about to start really suffering. Yeah, I got that one wrong. <laughs> Slipstreaming is something that you often hear huge percentage savings if you're sitting on the wheel. Up to 30% in some cases. Now, I haven't got anyone to help me out. So here's Dan, Sai and Matt with some great advice on how you can get more from slipstreaming and ride faster without training. To get the most from the slipstreaming effect, you need to be tucked in nice and closely to the rider behind. Now the closer you are, the better. As the further you drop off the wheel, the less assistance you'll get from the slipstream itself. So really experienced riders can ride just a couple of centimetres away from the wheel in front of them. A great example of that in action is watching a pro road race right in the finale or the team pursuit on the track. However, the margin for error here is minuscule, so you should always ride within the confines of your own skill level and that of the rider in front of you. So with that in mind, I'm just going to back off Matt and shave. When you go out and practice your skills, you are going to be spending time on your bike, so perhaps there is a small element of training effect there, but I think on the whole we can pretty much agree that becoming a more skillful cyclist is definitely one of the best and possibly the most fun way to ride your bike faster for free. Things like cornering, working on your braking skill, working on your bunny hops and working on your position on your bike, so weighting and unweighting your rear wheel depending on the conditions will all help you to ride faster on varying road surfaces, in varying weather conditions and braking and bunny hops are great get out of jail free at the last minute skills to have in your back pocket. There we go, five ways that you can ride your road bike faster without necessarily getting much fitter. You can get more aero, you can work on your skills, you can get your gear selection right, you can work on your slipstreaming, and you can carry a bit of momentum from downhills into small climbs. If you've liked this video, and if you like my stunning Trek bike, do give it a thumbs up and hit share too. And if you'd like to see some more videos on GCN, we have the five essential cycling skills, that's right there, and we have a look at a pro's Trek Madone, not just any pro though, Fabian Cancellara's pro bike. That's right down there. Finally, to subscribe to the channel, click on the logo and our shop is right there.